basically already been in school. I was in college. I was running around with all my friends and stuff. Back then, tattooing was not legal yet. Not in um, New York City or anything. So I was at NYIT. Started hooking up with certain guys like Dan Rosa and other types of tattoo artists who were like, get into it, get into it. I wanted to be my own boss and everything else. And here I was, the only person there educated at all. And, you know, sometimes people look at you, you're a tattoo artist, and they think of you as something like, this is all you had left. And it was like, no, I had a lot of choices other than this. I chose to be a tattooist because I loved tattooing and the art form that it expressed. It was one of the hardest art forms ever because it's not the same. It's not drawing on a piece of paper. You could be the best artist on paper and be the worst tattooist. You know what I mean? Because you can't translate. Aaron and myself, Karen works a lot with, um, she loves, you know, lettering, um, flowers, you know, flowery things, flower designs, tribal. She's, I think, in my opinion, the best black tribal on Long Island. And I'm not saying it because she's my daughter. Because, if anything, I scrutinize her ten times worse than I would scrutinize any other artist that ever worked for me. The right way is more important. An example being a lady one time wanted an elephant. And she wanted the trunk, not the trunk, the, the tail, to be super long and super thick. And I'm like, that's not an elephant's tail. <laughs> so she got angry with me. And I was like, I'll send you to somebody who will kiss your ass to go do that. <laughs> and that's cool. And you'll be happy with that tattoo. And I know I'm losing money, but I'm not going to do something that's wrong. It has to be artistically correct. It has to be mentally correct. It has to be correct. It has to be perfect. 